Hello. We get to hear messages all the time, don't we? We're constantly being told things and we respond to the messages that we hear in different ways. Sometimes we ignore them. Sometimes we pay attention and do something as a result. Here are some different messages being given to members of our church family. Thank you, darling. Right, let's get you sorted. Right, honey, I'm just going out for a walk with my best buddy, Scott, okay? I'll see you in a bit. You might want to take this umbrella. It's supposed to rain. We check the weather forecast. I'll get open wet. it. Oh, I think it'll be all right. Don't worry about it. You're going to get wet? Nah, we'll be fine. Don't worry. Uh oh. Daddy's going to get wet. See ya. Bye, Dad. <laughs> Daddy's back from seeing his best buddy Scott. <gasps> yeah, I should have listened to you. What happened? Sorry. Daddy, get wet! In each case, the message needed a response, didn't it? Because if they didn't, then there would be a consequence. So, if James didn't take his pack up, he'd be hungry at lunchtime. And if Neil didn't go and get some nappies, it would get a bit messy. And when Johnny ignored Veronica's message, hmm, he got very wet. We've been learning from the book of Acts how Peter was giving a message to thousands of people in Jerusalem. He'd been given the Holy Spirit, so he was teaching boldly about Jesus, his miracles, his death, his resurrection, and his reigning in heaven as the promised king. And lots of people hearing this message paid attention and realised they needed to do something as a result. They were sorry for their sin and they knew they needed to repent, which means turn away from their sin, and put their faith in Jesus, trust him as their king. They knew now that they'd been forgiven because of Jesus' death in their place on the cross. So they were baptised to show that there'd been a change in their hearts. They received the gift of the Holy Spirit too, and now they could live their new lives with Jesus as their King. And we'll see more about what that looks like next week. The message of Jesus still demands a response from people. It changes hearts as the Lord God calls people to himself. We've all heard the really important message that Jesus is reigning as Lord and King. Are you going to ignore it or respond in repentance and faith? <laughs>